Number seven. A photon of light produced by a surgical laser has an energy of 3.027 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. Calculate the frequency and wavelength of the photon. What is the total energy in one mole of photon? And then what is the color of the emitted light? All right, so we got four different questions here. So I'll try to go as quick and concise as I can. We did a very similar question to this in number six. So if you're on the playlist, just hit the back button by one and we'll go much more in depth into this. But nonetheless, let's get started. So the only thing that they gave us was we have an energy of this amount, 3.027 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So energy equals 3.027 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And the first thing that they're asking for is frequency. All right. So we did the derivation. I'm just going to put this over here. We did the derivation of how to go from two different formulas for energy. But for right now, just know that there is a formula that you should memorize of E equals HV. Energy equals Planck's constant, which is H, times um, frequency. So just know that Planck's constant is a constant number. Actually, I'm not going to put it there because I'm probably going to need room later. So I'm just going to put it here. Planck's constant is always 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules per second. So memorize that number. That's a constant number. And we're going to use that for this formula now because we got to find out what the frequency is, which is V, question mark. So energy, which is what they told me here, 3.027 times 10 to the negative 90 joules. So 3.027 times 10 to the negative 19th equals Planck's constant 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th times frequency. Solve for frequency, divide by Planck's constant times 10 to the negative 34th, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th, Planck's constant cancels. Frequency is whatever this is. So 3.027 times 10 to the negative 19th divided by 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th. And we get 4.568 times 10 to the 14th and this is either per second or hertz. So I'm just going to put seconds to the minus one, which is per second. So this is 4.568 times 10 to the 14th per second. So that's 4.568 times 10 to the 14th cycles of your sinusoidal wave per second. That's crazy. So this part is done. Now we got to find the wavelength. We should know how to go from a frequency to a wavelength, right? You can use C equals wavelength times frequency. So that's the next part. We need to find out what this is. And C, you guys should know, C is the speed of light, which is, you could say 3 times 10 to the 8th, but since the uh, uh, textbook that you're using gives you 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, I'm just going to use that. So... C equals wavelength times frequency, so 2.998 times 10 to the 8th equals, we're trying to solve for wavelength times the frequency which we just found out here. The units are perfect, so 4.568 times 10 to the 14th divide by 4.568 times 10 to the 14th. 4.568 times 10 to the 14th. That cancels. And now wavelength, which I guess I'll just put it over here, right? Wavelength equals 2.998 times 10 to the 8th divided by 4.568 times 10 to the 14th. I get 6, 6.563 times 10 to the negative 7th. And that's in meters. They don't tell me whether to put it in nanometers or meters, so I'm just going to leave it as meters. 6.563 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. Okay, so that answers that. Now, they just want this total energy of one mole of photon. 
So it has to come from the energy that they gave you, right? This number, 3.027 times 10 to the negative 19th. Now just know that whenever they give you an energy, it's always per one photon. So I can rewrite this by saying 3.027 times 10 to the negative 19th joules per one photon. So they're just saying, well, what is this answer in energy, so joules per one mole. So it looks like I just need to find a conversion factor that goes from photons to moles. And we know, and star this, memorize this, just know that one mole equals 6.022 Avogadro's number, right, times 10 to the 23rd photons. So that's how you can convert photon into mole, and that's what we got to do here, photon into mole. So, 3.027 times 10 to the negative 19th joules per one photon times by the ratio. Now, in this case, we don't want photon, so that has to go on the top, and mole will go on the bottom. Well, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd photon, so that goes on the top, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd equals one mole. Photons cancel out, and all you literally do is just multiply by Avogadro's number. So 6.027 times 10 to the negative 19th times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, you get 1.823 times 10 to the, I believe it's the fifth, one, two, three, four, five, and that's joules per mole. So box that answer off. So the total energy would be 1.823 times 10 to the fifth joules per that one mole. Now the last thing that they ask is what's the color of this light? So on, usually you would have to first look at a diagram of a light spectra. And that's what I provided for you guys here. But now, they gave you only units, and this is from your textbook, they only gave you units in angstrom, right? This little, like, A with an angel thing that we used to use on AIM <laughs> was, it's, call, it's called angstrom, so that's angstrom. And this is a type of distance or a length. So, in this case, we have to look at the wavelength, to see what the color is going to be. So we have to use our wavelength, which was 6.563 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. But the thing is, is that they only gave us units in angstrom. So I have to convert my meter into angstrom. How do I do that? Well, one meter is one times 10 to the 10th angstroms. Memorize that conversion. That's important. So I'll star that. So all we got to do is just convert. So 6.563 times 10 to the negative seventh meters times by meters on the bottom, angstroms up top. One meter equals one times 10 to the tenth angstrom. Meters cancel out. So all you're literally doing is timesing it by um, that number. So this would equate to... 6,563, let me just make sure, 6.563 times 10 to the negative 7th times, one times 10 to the 10th, which is, yeah. Now we just have to locate this number on the graph. So this is roughly about 6,500, 6, which would be in the middle of these two, right, 6,007. So it looks like it's in this area. What does this look to you? This looks red to me. Ooh, let me just change the color. I'll make it black, right? It looks like it's right here. What does this look like? This looks like red to me. So that would be the color, red. Awesome job, guys. So yeah, this was a four-part question. Frequency, wavelength, one mole of photon, the total energy, and what's the color? This is definitely a good test question. So get prepared to be
be kind of thinking outside the box and using these conversion factors to get to these specific answers. But the more practice, the better. If you haven't done number six, go back and try it. It's basically the same as this one. And I'll be with you every step of the way. Just like with the whole, with the whole OpenStax chemistry, I'll be, I'll be here. All right. So thank you so much. If this helped you, click that like button. It just shows us that we're doing our job properly. And if you want, you could click the subscribe button. You'll get right in your feed when we post our next batch of questions. And you'll also, you know, enable us to spread the word to hundreds and hundreds of people from all over the world who are using the OpenStax textbooks. And that would be pretty cool for them. Thank you so much, guys. See you guys all in number eight. Bye-bye.